Hello Gothic friends, welcome back to the world's let's play of the world Gothic 1 Unreal Engine. In today's episode we are going to go to Vatras and give him the focus stone that we collected. And eventually advance the quest. The story I mean. So there we have the teleporter. Vatras, my friend. Hey you! I found a focus in the mountain fort. Unbelievable. Now we have four focus stones altogether. There's only one more missing. Then we'll have them all. You've already done our community a great service. Get I know, the last I know. focus stone, and we'll soon be able to free ourselves. I see you've used up the teleportation scroll. Here, take a new one. Oh, thank you. I found a focus under the ring of stone. Brilliant. Now we have all five focus stones. Your deeds are invaluable to our camp. Be assured of my eternal gratitude. Go to Riordian now. He'll give you something for your immense efforts. Speak to Kronos, the keeper of the ore as well. He'll give you another gift from our community. Lots of gifts. Can you blast the ore mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the circle of water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly. But in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. And that is? One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier... We are a magician of fire. What's wrong with this? That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. It is also a weak point. We are magicians, so we could be used also. We are even the high magician of fire. All right, whatever. Then. I'll try to convince the magicians of fire. But I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other, just one. One what? Forget it. You the must one. succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the high magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards anytime he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. So, fourth chapter. It's called Sardas. So. We got a teleporter here, but it's not for us, apparently. It is for Croesta. There were six focus on in our gameplay. We still have one. So we have 21 learning points. So Riordian. Hey you Nefaris has nothing, right? To say to us. Am I ready for the circle of water? Become what Yeah, we, we need to become a mercenary. The Ardian. Satyrus said you had a reward for me. Ah, come here, come here. Our spiritual leader has told me about your heroic deeds. All the people in the camp, no, the whole colony, are deeply indebted to you. Take this as That's a modest passed. reward for all your efforts. I believe we got some permanent potions also. Yeah, this we can use. Mana we got, health, uh, strength, dexterity, but those we wait until we cap on them. Kronos has also something for us. Maybe Wolf can teach us now, we are in the fourth chapter. Ah, oh, we didn't check Riordian's. Not Riordian, what's. Live Riordian, right? His new inventory. Hey, you! Why is Merdarian hit? Weird, he lost some life. Riordian, what do you have sure. for sale? Nothing new, absolutely nothing in the fourth chapter, okay. That's not so great. We only need the people that sell uh, magic and so. We don't need the ones with the normal traders, we don't need their... Well, actually, there is a good sword, I believe. That we could buy, but we shall see. Wolf, I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell. Yeah, okay, he will do that once we join them. 
Kronos has also uh, our torch is still here, okay. And lit. Satyrus said you had a reward for me. As the keeper of the ore, I'd like to give you a small portion of our ore for your great deeds on behalf of the camp. I hope you'll make as good use of it as we do. Well, with 1,000 ore nuggets, we are not going to be able to blow the barrier like you guys trying to do so. Okay, this is new. A wave of ice. Wave of ice is good. Storm of fire we have, right? Doesn't show us, okay. Ice block, we have ice bolt. No. More mana. Who bones for maximum mana, maximum life? That's good. Friends, there is protection. Oh well. We are fourth circle of magic, not the fifth, so we cannot use the wave of ice. But we are going to probably make good use of it later on. I have no clue if it's any good. Because of the time, the casting, I believe, as a mage, you can get interrupted here in this. In this version. Well, not in this version. Oh, Lee? What's up with you here? There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country, but the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice, and they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. Yeah, this is a bit weird. We have nothing to do with Lee as a magician of fire. This is okay. If you were a ma uh, mercenary, then you would have to deal with Lee. But so far we had nothing to do with Lee. Why he talked with us, why he waited here for us, I have no clue. As I said, if we are mercenary, then this should be optional only for mercenary, this dialogue. But otherwise, it makes no sense for us. Like, we are like, oh, what happened? Why are you talking to us like that? But it is what it is. I still love Kafik. I'm not complaining about Kafik. I'm just pointing out some, some parts of the story that are totally lacking. Probably in the remake, they are going to be fixed. Because I believe in the gothic one they were quite rushed to, to finish it and that's why it seems a bit rushed. Did more monsters spawn in the fourth chapter? Nothing here. Also nothing up here. Wow, oh, we saw need a lot more speed. So this chapter is called Sardas. Does that mean we have to go to Sardas already? Quite scary there. But we as a mage have should have no problems. Absolutely no enemies spawned here. Weird. Probably it makes no sense to add uh, weak enemies. Ah, okay. We know what happens now. We see a guard here. Scorpio, my friend. Still a friend of us, right? Hey, no sweat, man. Come over here. Crossbow. <laughs> we can learn crossbow all of a sudden. You okay? I'm hiding away here. I don't care for the trash those guards are pulling off. 
But I've taken some pretty good stuff from the arsenal. If you need a weapon, just let me know. Yeah, show us what you have. Our weapon is 46. Oh, this is good. Mercenary blade. Two handed, two handed. One hand. Oh, berserker. This is very good. We are going to get this. Even this is good. This is a lot better. Wow. Okay, this is great. We have to prepare also for. Yes, I like this sword. So what do we have to sell? We have some money here, yeah, we can get some money. This we don't need, this we don't need. How much does it give? For 16. Those two we are going to save the bows for later on. Thanked, we got a better one, plus 20, so this one we don't need anymore. Thanked, this one we don't need, 30, okay. Teleport to the water mages we don't need. We will not transform into anything. Yeah. Okay, we can get now the beautiful sword. Oh, this is better even than the two-handed. Then we can sell the two-handed also. Ooh, I like it. I so like it. Something happened in the old camp, right? Yeah, little cavalier. You are the guy with the bows. Yeah, you have good bows. The blood flies. Ah, oh, we have that already. We sold it to him. Such a beautiful sword. Normally we don't have to buy it because we are a mage and we want to play as a mage, but as a backup it's nice to have a powerful weapon. Some enemies might be too resistant against our magic, then we have to use the sword for some special enemies probably. And I believe that all of the entrances there are going to be... Some of our friends. So slow, so slow. We are like a slug. People are talking, right? The music is so awesome. Oh, it's raining so hard outside. It is beautiful. So, we have another friend there. We are going to do the story, not really push leveling up yet. Hello, Diego. What's the meaning of all this hide and seek business? Haven't you heard? No. Heard what? The old mine caved in. The fire mages were assassinated, and there are plans to raid the free mine. What? What are you talking about? How did the mages get assassinated? They should be very powerful. How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Yeah, we are talking so quiet, and Diego is just uh, Why are the shouting. fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then, luckily I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course, who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. We I've seen the guards seen. in front of the locked gates. You little Stay liar. Away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. 
They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mind. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. Yeah, I wish that we could have seen it also. But what happened to the, the path mages? that it actually exists? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine. Well, yes. Big mistake, apparently. Shouldn't have been so self-confident. Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. Take care. So we can actually tell Gore, but Lester we will do it once we have to get in the vicinity of the castle where he is. Because I believe Lester does not come to the sect camp anymore. We have to go on the other side to Milton. And then we have to go to the new camp again and tell them what happened. Physical of Magic 4. It doesn't say what faction we are. I, I never paid attention if it actually shows us what faction we are. Down, Milton. I've already met Diego on the other side of the camp. Good. Then you know. What did Diego say? If I can find Gorn and Lester, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting place. Good luck and take care. Oh, sadly, the game crashed. And the OBS also. We lost a little bit. Lester and I took out the mountain. Of the way to here. He told me about it. Apparently, you can be trusted. Where have the four of you been meeting so far? Oh, here and there. We meet in a lot of different places. Do you now? See you later. Oh, those people will want some beef with us, right? We'll go through the forest and see. Ah, oh, more scavengers. I'll take you apart. It's your turn now. Oh, they simply die now? I believe they die now. So they are like enemies of the wildlife. Looks like it. Yep, they are dead. They wanted beef with us and sadly we lost a portion of the video. From Diego to Milton was simply that, but not so important. We just talked with Milton and he was crying about the water, the fire majors being dead. Sadly, we will avenge them because we were one of them. We are still one of them, I believe. No new enemies, right? Yeah, not a lot of stuff happened here. So the old mine caved in and Gomez assassinated the fire mages. I thought they were powerful and they could ward themselves somehow about, uh, against assassination. They should have been more on their toes after what happened to the old mine and the way it went with the Gomez. But it seemed like they were like, okay, let's just go to sleep. Don't care about... Oh, whoa, we are stupid. Damn it, I forgot about it. I forgot. Something terrible has happened. Yeah, tell me about it. Yes, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming. Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. 
The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Ah, just wait to hear about the mages. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Gomez has had all of the magicians of fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the free mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. Oh, we are exiled. I am exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer? Then I welcome you to our community. That is it, thank you. Does that mean that I now belong to the Guild of the Magicians of Water? Not yet. First you need to take the Oath of Water. But I've already taken the Oath of Fire. Hmm. It doesn't mean you're breaking your vow. Uh, I don't understand. You're extending your vow. That way you'll become a magician of both elements. Powerful. And you'll have the force of fire as well as the wisdom of water. I'm ready to take the oath. Servant of the fire, you shall now receive the blessing of the water. Now speak the words of the oath. I swear by the might of the gods. I swear by the might of the gods. And Gordon is our the witness. Of the holy water. And by the power of the holy water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. That my knowledge and my deeds from now on and forever shall be one with the water. Until my body shall return to the realm of Beliar and the source of my life shall dry out. Why do they think we go to Beliar? To the realm of Beliar and the source of my life Where everyone out. goes there once it dies in Gothic. You unite the power of the fire and the blessing of the water within you. You have now bound together what was apart before. May your life be a sign of the unification of the elements. Wear this robe as a sign of your bond with the holy water and with Adanos. Not, oh, we can get a better one. Can we? I'd like to wear the high robe of water. It is not yet time for you to wear the high robe. Can you instruct me? There is one more circle you don't know yet. I shall teach you as soon as you're ready. Thirty, are we? Ready to enter the fifth circle. I can't teach you anything. When you sent me to the magicians of fire, you mentioned there was somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing. Who is he? All right, the all one. Right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when <laughs> we, the twelve magicians, created the barrier back then. Our magic powers were directed and controlled by a 13th magician. A 13th magician? I thought there were only 12. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believed that. This 13th magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. How old is he? Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower in the middle of the Orc land. He's brave. Just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out or doesn't want to help us, he will. There is one other problem. Okay, what is the other problem? Hey, you! A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times, but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. 
I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry, I'll be back. Okay, so we cannot wear the high robe of the water, but we can Maybe get a... Uh, we need almost 5,000 experience, that's a lot. So, why is it stronger? Why are the water mages clots a lot stronger? Well, I guess that's it for this episode. We are going to make a break and in the next episode we are going to go to the old, to the free mine and fight with Gorn. I believe we have to. But thank you very much guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode. Be cool and bye bye.